Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley, and today we're going to be looking at the brand new e-bike from Now Dublin Bikes. So let's get started. Little history lesson about Dublin Bikes before we kick off. It was launched back in September 2009. They had 40 stations and 450 bikes at the time. Since then, the scheme has expanded into 117 stations with 1,600 bikes. To date, there's been over 31 million journeys made. Uh, that makes it one of the most successful bike sharing schemes in the world. The e-bikes will launch on March 30th, which is today, if you're watching this on the day that I released the video, uh, and 800 of the regular pedal bikes, half of the fleet, will be replaced with an e-bike that you can see on the screen there. Here we are with the Dublin bikes, we'll give a bit of an up close. So you have your run flat tires in the front, with your hub motor, you've got your mud flap, mud guard there, and another way of identifying the Dublin e-bikes is with this basket, it's a different basket than the one we're traditionally used to, it's got this blue element in it, uh, and this can take 10 kgs, this would be where the um, wire attachment would be if you're going to stop mid-rental, and this is your battery, just slides in, branded Dublin bikes, connector on the side there with a power button, uh, bottom is the USB for charging, it's a 3 amp hour battery, it takes about two and a half hours to charge, other connectors on the side there, and all the um, you have a way of finding it as well, information on the back. That slides straight in there. You've got your brakes, you've got your bell, you've got your information at the top here, what to do before departing, and also when you come back, you've got your LED blinking away there. In real life, they're not blinking mad like that, just at the fact they're LED. What to avoid, position on the road, and then Lewis line, and then also bike locking. So regarding the bike lock, and this is going to be a, a bike lock system uh, that's going to be app enabled, but they haven't rolled that out yet. You've got your seven speed, um, gears, you've got your dock station anchor bolt, you've got your uh, non-slip um, pedals, you've got your stand which is a tri-stand uh, and then you've got the nice way of um, adjusting the saddle nice and easy, slide it up and down whatever height you want and then you can lock it in there uh, and then you have the branded um, on the back. LED on the back here, and uh, now, now is the, the brand is the sponsor that's branding it now. It used to be Now TV, but it's just now. So if you didn't think you were able to rent a bike in Dublin and you didn't have the, uh, the the power, now you can. See what I did there? So now Dublin bikes, more reflectors in the back, and also the light for the front is built into the battery, into the basket, sorry, at the front here. So really good. With Dublin e-bikes, it's going to help you, assist you, but not with a throttle. It's actually going to be able to um, know when you're pedaling, so it's a pedal assist or a pedelec. Over the last 10 years what they've worked out is that it's going to be 93% of journeys are less than 10 kilometers, so the bike that's in it's a 3 amp hour battery, the battery that's in it's a 3 amp hour battery, whereas about 500 grams, and that is going to be able to do a lot of that uh, 10 kilometers or more, depending on what you need. So with Dublin bikes, it is a solid tire. So the suspension is tough enough, but um, with this assisted battery now, it makes it a lot easier for getting around. The uh, very clear instructions on the actual panel itself. So yeah, um, really good idea, really smart. I had I was under the impression that it was going to be a system where. I was under the impression that it was going to be a system like a regular pedelec where the battery was built into the frame and that Dublin bikes were after going to go around and actually change the bikes uh, or even replace the batteries like some of the scooter sharing companies are thinking about doing. But this having your own battery I think is a really ingenious way of working it. Uh, there's a commitment there because there's a cost but if you're interested I think it's a great idea. real simple way of working it as well. No wires, or anything, just slots right in. And it looks like that battery bank or that uh, is made for um, rugged use as well. But it's gonna be yours, so you can put your stickers on it and you personalize it if you forget it. I'm sure you can put a number on it. There's a way of working it. So overall, really, really good, smart thinking for a smart city. So you've got your silly, got your seven speed gear on the side. You've got your bell, your brakes, front and rear. 
It's a different bike to the one that's been that was launched originally and that has been upgraded over time as well. Nice clear instructions here and you can probably see, hopefully you can, the uh, battery indicator. It's got full uh, two thirds, a third and then uh, empty. Nice and clear instructions as to how it's operating in the whole lot. Can you take it out when you're cycling? You can. And you're back to yourself then. And then stick it in and away you go. You can feel it assisted. It sits, assists up to 25 kilometers. And then after that, um, it's your own pedal power. So for around the city, it's a very good, nice little assistance. When they were designing the e-Dublin bikes, they looked at the usage patterns of the now Dublin bike subscribers. Over the last 10 years, 93% of journeys uh, have taken under half an hour, uh, and the average one was between 15 and 18 minutes, and making the, ma the vast majority of trips well under 10 kilometers. So the battery that's with it will get you that. It's 35 euros to sign up to Dublin bikes, and if you want the e-bike element, it's an extra 60, making it a total of 95 euros. That's my look around the now Dublin Bikes e-bike. Great to see them modernizing the fleet and thinking and future-proofing the whole thing. As I mentioned, 50% of the fleet are going to be upgraded uh, and they're really a hybrid bike. So even if you don't have a battery, you can still utilize this with your regular Dublin bike account. Um, great to see this feature being brought in. Uh, I'd say there was a number of people that felt that they didn't have the physical ability to rent and ride a, a, a bike around Dublin city. Uh, it is a very flat city, it's, it's great for riding around, but um, great to see Dublin bikes, or now Dublin bikes, future-proofing their fleet uh, and thinking about the next step and what they can do. Uh, and you get a power bank as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. If you can leave a like and subscribe, let me know what you think about bike sharing schemes and if you've got something in the city where you're located around the world, leave a comment, show me the engagement. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thanks for watching.